Okay, so this is the finished product here. You can see how just taking an existing sculpture like this, you can change the position of the arms and kind of reappropriate. There's an art school word for it. Um, reuse your own artwork. Uh, so Rodin would do like an assemblage, or as the gallery say, assemblage with his own work which sometimes looked like a pile of sculptures. Um, but his Adam figure, he used in Hell's Gates. He made three of those and perched them up on the top. But in this instance, I had cut the arms off to cast them differently. I'll try to put a, a video somewhere so you can see um, how Andromeda was cast with her arms bent together over on this side. But I repositioned the arms to basically accommodate holding an object. And this is how I'm going to uh, put the Mercedes star up here on top. She'll kind of be showcasing the Mercedes bends so I can cast this in some type of silver metallic bonded resin piece and then put the Mercedes star up top. You know, there's uh, Andromeda, who is the nude version of this, uh, Mercedes, which is gonna be the draped version of this. And, you know, I just added to an existing sculpture, changed the arms, added the drapery, and I have another sculpture. Right. So I hope you can hear me over the white noise in the background. So these arms, I put them on here and tried to reposition them uh, in the loosest sense. Okay. So the idea is that the arms are going to ultimately hold a sphere or a sphere be placed between them in some sense. I'll end up casting that ball and the ornament will come out of the top of that. It'll be sitting out of the top of that. But, you know, what do we do in the meantime? So I took these arms and I had my sketch here loosely followed but it would not and i have a cube there because i might do a different idea a little bit later with a cube anyway so the idea is that um, i was trying to mimic the lines in my drawing here my little sketch and although we're looking at it from a different angle, say like, this is probably a little closer to what I had. I tried to stay as true as I could 
but it just wasn't working. So I started bending the arms around until I found a position that worked. And aesthetically, I like the position of these arms. There's enough space between to suggest proximity for design. And at the same time, there's a nice fluid movement, even though that this arm is vertical. Um, there's still enough deviation. You can see some movement through it and even in there. So then with the muscles twisting and such, you can see the, uh, the line work in the, in the arms. So once I got those into a position that I thought was suitable, I began to take my fettling knife and just carve sections off till I could get it the way I want. Uh, following the pre-existing muscles, so there's like a bicep that comes up. So I knew that if the bicep was coming up in that direction, I had to put the elbow somewhere over here. And right here is the, like the triceps. So I had to put the elbow here. And then these two muscles, the radial and the ulnar, they, they can turn, obviously. These became static as a result of being a pre-existing sculpture, but I could still play around with the position of these uh, due to which direction I want to set the arm and then the inflection of the arm. So, and then I get to play around with the hands again and start to sculpt hands so you can see here the wrist and where the uh, metacarpals start to attach to the wrist. That's always fun to get that figured out. And um, there we go. So now um, this here I actually need to take off about uh, three eighths of an inch. I think it's it's too long. So I might have to hack this and then rebend the wire and then re-sculpt it, which you know, that's what I got to do. Fine. But I need to put the ball back here. Make sure it still fits. So the idea is that, uh, you know, set up the arms the way that they need to go. And then I could go in, take the feddling knife, start cutting back the material, and then start adding little bits and pieces as I need. So for example, if I think I need a little bit more right there, I'm just going to place a little bit more right there. And I use the existing registration lines so that as these arms spin, because they do, I can always bring it back home to where I had it. So that's the idea. And once I have these arms um, molded, I can then attach them to uh, the other model. Yes. So once those arms are molded, I can uh, put them on the, I mean, obviously the casting, I can attach them to the casting of this and then have this piece cast also.
So I don't recommend doing this with older work because uh, you'll see that you've grown as an artist, sculptor, and you may find so many faults in the old piece that going and correcting it would just encourage you to start over from scratch. It's just that time permits, so it's up to you. Thanks for watching. I do encourage you to subscribe. If you like this, please click like and share it with another sculptor.